Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, welcome to a tutorial setup for hack slash mine server. So I've been asked a few times on how to do this, so I wanted to go ahead and go over this for you guys so you know how to set up a server for yourself. Now right now, this is a temporary fix. If you're reading right here, it says we're working out rough ideas on how to make the server less of a PETA to set up and get going for the future. So that might help out even more. So I'm pretty sure they might end up doing a single click server setup button like Bucket has for their whole setup. So this is, again, just a temporary fix for those who want to get a server set up right now and go play a lot of hack slash mine with their friends. First of all, I want to go over a few things. We're going to be using Minecraft version changer. Now, in no way, shape, or form am I aware that this is going to be an illegal program because I'm reading this straightforward to you guys. I am aware of the rules and I'm not breaking the ones listed below. Making available copies of the current or previous Minecraft files, Minecraft.jar, etc. So supposedly this is the legal way to get the Minecraft.jar for 1.2.3. Now right now I'm not actually using the forums, Minecraft forums right now that I'm showing you to download this. So I will show you where I'm downloading this from. It's still supporting the mod slash app creator. And here it is right here, Minecraft version changer. And actually this supports directly to the Minecraft version changer creator. So you basically just click right here. And I'm going to go ahead and leave this in the description below so you can click it. And what it's going to do is it's going to download this exe file, Minecraft version changer. As well, there's one other file that we're going to need. And it's actually itself the hack slash mine server files. Or actually just, yeah, basically the server files. So here is how you get those right here. If you go right to this website I'm going to give you, here is the hack slash mine, basically forum files, right? So we're going to scroll down until we reach this right here. So we're going to download this right here. And this is going to give you, I've already pre-downloaded, I've already pre-downloaded these. So they're on my desktop right here. We have the launcher for Technic. We have the hack slash mine empty folder. There's nothing in here. This is what we're going to be creating. We have the hack slash mine 0.4. This is the file that we downloaded from Yogscast or the second link should be in the description. Minecraft server full 1.2.3. How we're going to get this legally, we're going to go to Minecraft version changer, which we just downloaded. It's going to bring up all the versions of Minecraft. So you can go all the way back to beta, all the way to alpha, and even in dev. So we're going to go scroll all the way down to 1.2.3. Right here it is. We're going to go server available. So it's going to download the server file for us. It's going to stick it on the desktop. First of all, just a temporary fix. And then we're just going to go ahead and save it. It's going to go ahead and pop some ads up again. But this is, again, supporting the uh, publisher of the app itself. So we're going to go ahead and close this down. And click OK. Now, I totally lost that file, so I'm going to have to go back and get it. Because it saves it to your desktop. Oh, you guys saw some videos. Ooh, look at you. But uh, anyways, because it saves it to your desktop itself... It thinks it's going to be all smart and wordy and resave it somewhere else. So I'm actually have to go back in here and go to my downloads and find it again. No problem. Here it is. So here we have the Minecraft server full 1.2.3.jar. So we're going to just go ahead and rename this to Minecraft.jar. You can rename it to Minecraft server if you want underscore, but Minecraft.jar is just fine enough for me. We're going to throw this. Actually, first of all, right click, open with. WinRAR Archiver. You're going to need WinRAR. Most people have WinRAR. If you don't have it, you can pretty much download it pretty easily just by searching on Google WinRAR. So here is the inside of Minecraft.jar. Those of you who have used modded files probably have seen this many, many times. You're probably thinking meta.inf. I need to delete that, right? No. Keep that in there. That stays in there. So now we're going to open up hack slash mine. Now there's a couple things we're going to need from hack slash mine. First, we're going to need the textures language and we're going to go English put language right here throw the English language into the language files so again we're going to be going into minecraft.jar language right there we're going to throw the English which basically just adds all the text based English info I do believe to the interface alright now we're going to go back in the server and all these files every single one of them we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to shift click the bottom one and then we're just going to throw these over and let it go ahead and just seep into the minecraft.jar file. <laughs> I didn't know what to say there. I was going to say folder, but it's not really a file. <laughs> it's not really a folder, it's a jar. So we're just going to go ahead and throw that in the hack.mine. 
So right now, as you can see, we have the Minecraft jar. That's it. That's all we have. Now, an easy way to run this, uh, if you have your jar setup files directly set up to where you need it, you can just double click it and it will run. It will execution eight, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, and it will run. There is a few things that you can do in order to make it more efficient. Say you want to add more RAM to it. So right here it says start, launch as, whatever, whatever. Pretty much this is one gig of RAM. So what I do actually is I create a batch file. As soon as this wants to close out, there we go. Create a batch file, dot run, dot bat. So if you look in this batch file, we're going to edit it right now. All this is, is basically echo off set bin directory. I'm pretty much going to put this in the description for you. But really the important part that you need to know is right here. Because this changes on every app, yeah, every computer that you have. So it just depends on what kind of Java you have. So if I go to Java well, program files to uh, Java, you can see mine's JRE, bin, and you just want to look for java.exe. You can go to properties and you just want to uh, copy this right here. You actually can do the uh, aspirin signs or percent signs if you want, but you pretty much can just uh, copy this right here and just do dot or actually slash. Don't even know what I'm doing. Slash java.exe. And what this is, is the megabytes or gigs of RAM that you're going to be using. Right here, 1024 is a gig of RAM. So we're minimum and maximum is a gig of RAM. So it's going to be running on a gig of RAM for the Minecraft server. Uh, you're going to have to look up the exact uh, number. If you want uh, like 5 gigs of RAM, or if you want 5, uh, 512, if you want to actually run on a half a gig of RAM. I suggest probably running on at least a gig of RAM if you have it in spare. So we're going to go ahead and save this. And again, I will put this in the uh, description so you can make your bat. And really, you just need to save it as run.bat. Then we're just going to click on this. It's going to go ahead and run up. It's going to find that Java file that you have. And it's going to load up the world. Now, I have a simple problem because I have two computers and I run servers on both of them. I had to go ahead and port forward on two computers. So my port for this computer is 25555. So we're just going to save it right there. And now we're going to run it so we can show how it's going to work. So I'm going to open up the Technic Launcher. Log in. Just waiting. As you can see, there's me and there's my wife. And as you can see, we're in the hack slash mine. Now one second real quick. I'm going to go ahead and change something. Oops. Multiplayer. Delete. Okay. All right, so we're going to add a server, and I'm just going to do localhost. Localhost. And uh, we're going to do port 25555. Five. As you can see, the server is running. So we're just going to go ahead and double click on it. And we are in the server, and we can choose warrior, mage, ranger, whichever one we want. So let's try warrior. And apparently, I have decided to spawn in water. Not very fun. And I'm in an oceany biome. <laughs> Again, my world is so messed up. Nice. This happened to me two times in a row, but the, as you can see, all the mobs are in here, and it's working just fine as it would as a server file. So, as you can see, the Ninja Turtle dudes are going to be coming after me, or the Orc Archers, as you want to call them. <laughs> and I could go ahead and make this bigger screen so you could see more, but really, we're at the point right now where you guys pretty much know how to start this and how to run this. If you've never messed with anything in Minecraft server-wise, right here, you can op people. So I can op nearby gamer. So there we go. I just got opt in the game. So I can actually go hmm, game mode nearby gamer 1. So now I can fly, and they can't really even touch me. And I can just go over and show you the world. And uh, pretty much this is it. Uh, I think you have to be on the ground. Yep, you have to be on the ground for the map to work itself it just turns black area that's new that's new to me exactly but still it's really cool uh so yeah the worlds are going to spawn just like normal in 1.2.3 you're still going to get the jungle biomes you might get some lighting issues uh of course for every new there we go for every new game that you start you do have to correct the lighting to smooth lighting 
and all that so pretty much guys yeah here we go this is how you run the server itself it's really awesome it's really easy to do it's not very complicated pretty much anyone can do it you don't even need the bat file if your jar file or if your Java is set up directly you can just double click on it and have it run but remember you're gonna be running with the resources that Minecraft gives you and not the ones like say if you have 8 gigs of RAM on your computer you're not gonna be running with those 8 gigs of RAM on the server itself and you don't want to run full memory on the server anyways probably half of what you have then half for Minecraft or half for Minecraft and recording same thing same thing so uh, yeah there you go guys have fun with this and uh, have your server on. I, I want to see a whole bunch of servers because you guys are awesome and I'm pretty sure that uh, I know you guys want to play this multiplayer with everyone that you can. So uh, beta test this and see how you like it. I'm pretty sure you are guys all, you are guys are, see now I'm just getting all caught up in my words. You guys are going to love this. So we'll see you next time. Bye bye.